How to inspect and treat rust problems on small buses. Every small bus for sale is subjected to rust which is the oxidation of metal when it comes in contact with moisture, air and salt. It's an electrochemical process that every vehicle is susceptible to over time. It's important to stop rust in its initial stages in order to prevent it from spreading all over the vehicle as it severely weakens the metal and can cause accidents leading to potential injuries of passengers as well as others on the road. When buying a bus, the buyer should thoroughly inspect it before making a final decision. There is no point in buying a low mileage bus if the previous owner did not perform regular undercarriage washing and roof seal checking and resealing on a regular schedule and let water penetrate the vehicle. It should be remembered that body rust only grows and does not stop unless treated. So a tiny small rust patch today can turn into a big hole penetrating through the metal body rapidly. There are no strict rules to follow. A bus that has been in use for 5, 7, or even 10 years and has acquired thousands of miles is bound to have some form of superficial rust on undercarriage but that is normal wear and tear until the body structure, frame, or sidewalls are compromised. Always expect a used vehicle to have some rust on the undercarriage, just like any other pre-owned vehicle. A small bus for sale in snowy and mountainous region tends to have more rust than those from other regions because of the high amount of salt present on the roads during the winter season and in the atmosphere. When salt comes in contact with the metal on the short bus, it accelerates oxidation that causes rust. If untreated, it will spread, bubble the paint coating and ultimately weaken the strength of the metal causing an unsightly appearance. The electronic and hydraulic systems are also vulnerable to rust since they are made up of metallic components susceptible to oxidation. For example, the brake discs and brake lines, a part of the braking system can get rusted too, resulting in poor braking and potential brake failure. On the other hand, it should not be assumed that a small bus for sale from dry or warm region will have little rust. This is untrue. Most rust comes from under the bus and is caused by dampness rising from unpaved parking lots and damaged seals on the roof. Always ask the owner for previous maintenance records and that if any rust repair work was ever done on the vehicle. If the minibus has a history of rust problems, then it's a sign of caution and demands close inspection. If the bus is heavily rusted and obvious to the eye, then it's better to ignore it at first sight and move on to the next bus. Many times this is not the case because the sellers are smart enough to repaint the damaged areas of the bus and even change the soft spots on the wood floor just to make it appear normal. They may even label the vehicle as mint or like new to make a quick sale. Since some sellers are sometimes disingenuous, buyers have to be aware, smart enough to get a qualified independent inspection. They have to understand that rust can be hiding inside or underneath the bus, not outside. The biggest rust issues are often not visible to the untrained eye. Buses are manufactured from the ground up, first the chassis then the body. So the inspection too has to be performed from the ground up. Since it's the chassis that holds the critical parts of the vehicle like engine, transmission, floor, dashboard, wheels, radiator, brakes, etc., it's important to thoroughly inspect the chassis as any damage here can endanger the lives of people riding it and others too. Moreover, Fixing rust or changing parts in this area of the small bus for sale after purchase can be expensive and wreak havoc with your budget. Major Vehicle Exchange is a used bus dealership that has sold its small bus for sale to customers across the United States for more than three decades. For more information visit Major Vehicle Exchange at 516-333-7483 today.